Hello again, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotments. And you join me on a lovely afternoon here. Uh, you know, blue sky, white fluffy clouds, you know, lovely mid-March afternoon. A little bit fresh still, you know, only seven or eight degrees, but, uh, you know, perfect day for being up here and to uh, get on with a few jobs. Uh, one of which uh, I'll be doing just when I finish this is to uh, plant these uh, Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, just never actually grown those before. Someone very kindly gave us those uh, tubers there so no idea what they come up like or what it takes to grow them but I'll pop them in the ground and apparently they'll be ready in the autumn time so we'll see I guess and do one or two other jobs while I'm up here as well but of course I am here to talk about whiskey and to tell you or talk to you about the allotment dram and what is it today I hear you ask well today is St Patrick's Day so there's only one thing it really can be and that's an Irish whiskey and uh, selected a new Irish whiskey at that literally came out last week and it's the red breast 10 years old and this is from Irish distillers and it's to celebrate the 30th anniversary of them giving a rebirth to Redbreast. It's a brand that you know goes way back, you know, over a century. Uh, it was founded in 1912, that's when it first appeared. But uh, it sort of died out in the 1950s and 60s and uh, it wasn't until Irish distillers uh, sort, of, sort of kicked off the brand again in the early 1990s that it uh, you know, really came back and and you know, now it's thriving you know going from strength to strength lovely core range of whiskies and uh, this is a limited edition it's a one-off it's for the uh, bird's house uh, members which um, uh, is a sort of fan club for people who particularly like red breast um, so you can only buy it if you go to the if you're a member of the bird's house which, which is actually free to join so just go to the website and sign up and then you'll be able to buy a bottle but um, yeah so limited edition not sure how many bottles exactly because they didn't say at the launch but um, yeah just you know bottle at a car strength and you know pretty punchy 59.1 percent and it's been matured in casks which have been seasoned with Oloroso sherry so you'll see it's uh, got a 10 year old age statement but it's actually got whiskies from 10 years right up to 15 years of age in there all in these uh, seasoned Oloroso sherry casks and it's a single pot steel whisky so what is that um, I hear some of you may be asking uh, was a single pot still is a mix it's made from a mix of malted barley and unmalted barley and it's a type of whiskey that was developed in Ireland when there was particularly high taxes on malted barley so to get around paying less tax they mixed some malted barley with some unmalted barley and put them together mashed them uh, fermented them and then distilled uh, everything so uh, Pretty, you know, exclusive really to, to Irish whiskey uh, and all down to that historical link to do with to do with avoiding paying more tax basically. But you know, lovely whiskies and there's there's a few out there, you know, Redbreast is one of the most prominent uh, brands. So yeah, as I say, if you like the sound of this then you know go go to if you're a uh, the birdhouse member already then hurry up because the, the bottles will run out and if you're not one and you like the sound of it then just go to the website and sign up you know it's very easy and it's free so uh, I think without further ado we should have a little taste um, oh there we are nice sound so we've got uh, this is our little media uh, bottle that we got uh, for the launch it's around a hundred euros uh, where well, it is 100 euros, not around 100 euros, it is 100 euros for the full size bottle, uh, 70 CL. Uh, so let's have a smell. There you can see, look at that lovely uh, sort of deep gold colour there. Fabulous. And leaping out of the glass. 
Absolutely lovely. So rich and sweet. It's got a lovely set of sort of dried fruits. Some toffee and caramel as well. Those dried fruits, you know, raisin, sultana. Got some currants, some darker ones like figs, dates. Bit of orange oil in there as well. Lots of fudge and toffee and caramel. Very enticing. There's a good pinch of spice as well. Maybe a pinch of cocoa powder in there as well. Delicious, so let's have a taste. Oh yeah, that's really quite punchy, 59.1%, but a really mouth-coating, viscous, lovely richness. Those notes coming through, there's some vanilla, lots of caramel, toffee, butterscotch then some layered layers of dried fruit those dried fruits that I mentioned before plus maybe a bit of there's a bit of like dried apricot or something like that in there as well and then you've got a layer of sort of fresher fruit so you've got like a, almost like a green apple maybe pear instead of apple also like a fresh, um, it's like a hint of fresh peach in there as well. Very, very nice. And then comes through this sort of wave of these sort of warming spices. There's a bit of possibly ginger in there, a load of cinnamon and sort of toasted oak. Yeah, very, very good. Let's have another taste. Yeah, so so juicy so vibrant and of course that's what you get with you know high strength high strength uh, car strength whiskies like this with the high ABV it exaggerates all the flavors that you get there that's uh, you know it is you know some people would find that very strong and it is very peppery very hot so actually let's try it with a little bit so I've got a little glass of water here so I'm just gonna pour in a little splash just see what that does to it. Oh yeah, it's sort of much more, much more sort of fudgy and toffee and there's that green apple really on the nose now. It's kind of like dampened those spices a little bit. Nowhere near as spiky. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Yeah, really. Those green fruits, the apple and pear, really coming through now. It's taken that that sort of peppery, spiky edge off. Really soft and and so creamy. Very, very good. So, as I say, hundred euros for the bottle uh, for uh, the Birdhouse members. Yeah, Redbreast, one of our our favourites. So you know, we were delighted to. Uh, sort of receive this sample and be invited to the launch you know we like pretty much the whole range but uh, you know this this is a stunner actually very very good so you know don't hang around because as I say they didn't really say how many bottles there were so when it's gone it's gone and uh, you know here's to the next 30 years we say you know absolutely delicious so from myself and the red breast uh, 10 year old uh, special 30th anniversary edition of red breast we will bid you farewell we'll get on with uh, planting those jerusalem artichokes now and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye